The Phase 1 XT is comprised of three elements. The IQ4 150 digital back is the control point of the system, and this is where all of our composition, capturing, and reviewing of images takes place. On the front, we have the Rodenstock HR lenses, which are currently available in 23, 32, 50, 70, and 90 mm focal lengths. These lenses are renowned for being the highest performance optics available to photographers in terms of high resolution image quality and large image circle. The obvious choice to match the quality of files produced by the IQ4 150 digital back. The particularly exciting development of these lenses for the XT camera is in the Phase 1 X shutter. The X shutter is a new leaf shutter design which not only gives us the possibility to sync with flash up to 1000th of a second but also opens up full integration with the IQ4 digital back. In between, we have the XT camera. The XT has its roots in the world of technical cameras, which are known for being incredibly powerful creative tools for landscape and architecture photography. Where the XT develops this kind of photography is in removing the need for cables to sync the digital back and the lens, and the need to control the exposure settings manually from the lens. On the back of the camera, we have two geared dials for horizontal and vertical shift, offering 12 millimeters of movement in all directions. This allows us to both correct perspective and keep vertical lines straight in our compositions, as well as take multiple images for stitching together as larger panoramic images. At the base of the camera, we have a lever, which we can release, opening up the possibility to rotate the camera between horizontal and vertical framing, without having to remove from the tripod. This is a nice addition and gives the quick option of a different perspective, which otherwise might be overlooked. When it comes to setting up images, the XT is based around the IQ4's live view. Within live view, we have a range of tools that are useful in composing and exposing the scene. The first of these is a leveling tool for ensuring that the center plane is where we want it to be. We then have grids for setting perspective. Shown here is the custom layout, which allows us freedom over an X and Y grid layout. Within the submenu, we have a number of preset options for other situations. Introduced to the IQ4 platform was live view focus peaking which is a particularly useful aid with the XT in it being a fully manually focused system. This works at full preview size as well as at 100%. When determining our exposure, we can open an RGB and RAW histogram preview. This also shows us our individual channels to highlight any potential clipping in the image. Using the buttons on the back, we can manage our shutter speed, aperture and ISO settings. Once everything is set, we can use the shutter button on the live view screen. Alternatively, we can close live view and capture from the home screen or use the shutter button on the XT body. When our exposure is finished, we can use the playback screen to check details by double tapping to 100% or by pinch zooming in and out. When we're using vertical and horizontal shift, we can see our position values displayed on the live view screen. Because of the digital integration of the X shutter and the IQ4, this information is also saved as metadata in the file, which is useful when it comes to post-processing. The IQ4 platform has been designed to grow through firmware updates, and we have a series of creative tools available from the home screen. Firstly, we can set simple automated bracketing sequences by selecting the number of images as well as the exposure gap between them. The IQ4 will automatically capture a series of bracketed images. Frame averaging is a very powerful tool based around long exposure photography. On the left hand side of the screen we have our exposure settings required for the scene. On the right hand side of the screen we set how long we want to expose for in total. Whether our total time is 10 seconds or 10 minutes our exposure will be exposed in the same way but the amount of movement within the scene will differ as if we were using a neutral density filter. This allows us the freedom to capture long exposure images in daylight without the need for extra filters. In this scene we don't have any moving water or trees to show as an example, but we can see another benefit of frame averaging, as these people walk through our image, but they don't appear in the process file. Though the IQ4 is potentially capturing thousands of individual frames, our end result is always one file. The time-lapse tool simply executes automated sequences for processing later into a moving image. We set the number of frames we need and the amount of time we need between each one. The latest tool we've seen introduced to the IQ4 is Dual Exposure Plus. With Dual Exposure Plus, we set our exposure as required, and the IQ4 will capture an exposure three stops brighter in tandem. Again, like frame averaging, the IQ4 will process these exposures into one file, this time increasing our dynamic range to around 18 stops. We can see the benefits when it comes to processing the image in Capture One. In this example, we're pulling our shadows by four stops, and there is next to no noise.
From the home screen, we have the choice to set manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program modes. We can adjust our shutter speed, aperture, and ISO settings using the touchscreen. For each of these, we can also set an auto mode with upper and lower limits if wanted. Within the drive mode, we can set single shot, continuous shot, and delayed mode. As within Live View, we can also view our shift movements from the home screen. The iQ4 comes loaded with a variety of different styles. Styles are packages of Capture One colour and contrast settings, and a nice feature of the iQ4 is that we can also upload our own custom styles and save these into the back. This means we can preview our images on the digital back with our particular style, but these can be unselected from Capture One at a later date if we want to process differently. We can simply set our white balance, and we also have a choice of different file formats depending on the situation. The top left options are both 16-bit colour depth, the first one giving us cleaner shadow detail at base ISO. The top right options are 14-bit, one uncompressed and one compressed. The bottom left option is a Sensor Plus file. Sensor Plus quarters our resolution to around 40 megapixels and offers cleaner files at higher ISO settings. The XT is the ultimate camera for landscape, architecture and fine art photographers seeking the utmost image quality. It evolves from the traditional field camera and honours these photographic principles while offering simple and intuitive workflow along with modern storage and power. At the core is the Phase 1 Infinity platform which opens up a world of future possibilities when it comes to feature updates. For more information on the XT camera system, contact us at Teamwork and arrange an introduction for yourself.